stage 18 in the Giro d'Italia, the climb to Refugio Panarotto in the Dolomites. 4,000 metres from the line, an attack is launched by a rider in the blue jersey, one given to the race's best climber. The change of rhythm is irresistible and decisive. An arm is raised to the heavens before the line is crossed. This is the biggest win of Julian Arredondo's career. It was something beautiful because I come from somewhere quite remote and I've had to suffer a lot to be where I am today. So, at that moment, I remembered all the hard times I'd been through in my life and I saw that it was worth it to keep fighting for other goals which I've set myself, which get bigger every day and that I will surely achieve through hard work. The 25-year-old Colombian's first ever Grand Tour became a breakthrough race as Arredondo secured both the climber's jersey and the combativity award for most aggressive rider. It's quite a long race, but I wanted to ride it well. Being my first three-week race, my efforts were more measured, but to be king of the mountains, I had to give it all I had every day. So, I think it was quite a positive experience that gives me a lot of hope going into this year and especially for the main objective, the Tour de France. Last year's Giro was a landmark race for Colombian riders as Nero Quintana took a dominant victory ahead of countryman Rigoberto Oran, performances that Arredondo is justifiably proud of. I think we've made history because this is a group that's left its mark on all aspects of Colombian cycling. It's the greatest ever age for Colombian cycling and I'm happy to be part of this group, to always contribute and to always help raise smiles in a country that needs a lot of them. Colombia's talent and passion for cycling was highlighted when its riders exploded onto the international scene over 30 years ago. Lucho Herrera, Fabio Parra and Santiago Batero were the headline acts in that first wave of talent. But Arredondo took his riding inspiration from a Spanish climber still active in the peloton, Joaquim Perito Rodriguez. I think for the way he rides and his personality, I'll always remember Purito and it's always been my incentive to one day be like him, to race like him, and to achieve what he's achieved. So I think he's one of my idols. But I'm always amazed to be riding with champions who two years ago I was watching on TV. For me to ride with them now is something that drives me to keep working hard every day and give the best that I can. Arredondo is well aware he's far from being the finished article. One area that has been targeted for improvement is when to time and measure his attacks on the climbs for maximum effect. I'm a bit anxious. Sometimes I attack at the wrong moment. I'm anxious, but thanks to my teammates and to the team staff, we've worked on this. And I think that this year will be different. We'll not only entertain the way we did last year, but I'll also know when to save energy for the final stages. And on a more practical level, a bike fitting with his Trek factory team during the off-season has improved a riding position which was cause for concern last year. Posture is an important thing. You have to feel comfortable with the work materials you have. When you're on the bike for more than four or five hours, you start feeling pain in one part of the body or another. So, you have to correct this in order to be on the bike for a lot of hours and to be able to give your best. Arredondo won't be defending his blue jersey at the Giro this month, as he concentrates on the Tour de France instead. But this softly spoken Colombian is grateful for the chance to add to his palmarès with the American factory team. Working with Trek has changed my life. They offered me a job and they offered a better life for my family. But the company has become my family as well, not just on the outside, but on the inside too. 
Every day we become closer. I feel very happy and I look forward to giving this family lots of victories.